Victor Blom was born on September 26, 1990 in Gothenburg, Sweden. He was the youngest of four children, having two older sisters and an elder brother named Sebastian. Victor and Sebastian started playing poker together when he was only 14 years old. Their game of choice was No Limit Texas Hold'em. Victor longed for more competition, so he taught his friends how to play. Soon his love of poker spread throughout his school and many of his classmates were eager to play on school grounds in order to get their hands on some extra cash. One lunch period in particular, 25 students gathered around to play. Although some of the students were older than Victor, he was easily able to defeat all of them before the period ended. Victor decided to deposit some of the money he had won over the past year into an online poker site. At this point, Victor created an online poker screen name Blom90 and within a few weeks of the game, he was consistently playing at $500 USD sit and goes. After a couple of months at the game, Victor Blom net worth was in excess of $275,000 at that time. He was barely 15 at this stage and from this stage onwards, Victor became a professional poker player. It was at this time that he began playing high stakes and started exhibiting his excessive gambling streaks. After winning the $275,000, he withdrew the entire amount and deposited it in, in one site. He took on higher buy-in cash games as well as sit and goes. Unfortunately for him, he lost all his money at a go. He didn't give up though, he began building his bankroll all over again and deposited $3,000 at the same time. He started playing high buy and set and goes and started making more winnings and increased his bankroll. Victor Blom built his bankroll to $50,000 and started playing $300 set and goes regularly. Unfortunately, he lost everything again. During this time, his schooling suffered and he was often reprimanded for skipping classes after yet another all-night poker session. Eventually, he had to appeal to his parents for cash as he had blown his school maintenance grant. They agreed to help him as long as he quit poker and they also wanted him to move home. He eventually got them to agree that he didn't need to move home and he wouldn't play poker anymore. This was a promise he simply couldn't keep. He knew that he could earn a living at poker, he just needed to work out how to do it. His big breakthrough came when he decided to give poker one last go and strapped together $2,000 to play No Limit Hold'em cash games. After taking about a year off, Blom came back full force reactivating his account at PartyPoker.com. It only took him two days to multiply his deposit of $2,000 into over $200,000. And at the two week mark, he had reached $1.7 million in total profit. After those initial two weeks though, he didn't have a lot of success, so he left to find a new site. By now, which is early 2009, something of a buzz was beginning to circulate on the forums about the new player to the high stakes scene who went by the name Blom90 on the iPoker network. He seemed to be winning at an unprecedented rate, but nobody could understand why. The words fish on a heater were widely in use as many more experienced players could detect huge fundamental leaks in Blom 90's play. What he lacked in fundamentals, however, he more than made up for what his intuitive understanding of game flow and spotting his opponent's weaknesses works. If heads of play was all about getting inside your opponent's head, then Victor Blom had x-ray vision at the poker tables. As the weeks and months continued, the same high stakes pros began commenting on the forums that although they still found elements of his game terrible, that he was clearly a very fast learner and that they were finding his style extremely frustrating to deal with. At this time, the name Isolder1 had yet to be coined on a poker side and Blom90's prowess was unknown outside as many Euro sites he was tearing up. The first many of us heard of Blom90 came in mid-2009 when controversial British High Stakes No Limit Hold'em Pro Luke Schwartz mentioned him in an interview saying that this Blom90 was going to come over full tilt and send all the Americans broke. Schwartz at the time was one of the top No Limit Hold'em pros, had fought Blom90 at iPoker and found out to his cause that he wasn't dealing with any fish on a heater. Just a couple of months later, Schwartz's prediction was starting to become a reality. Having creamed the Euro sites for millions of dollars, Blom turned his attention to the site with the richest players, the biggest stakes, and the most No Limit Hold'em action, Full Tilt Poker. Enter Isildur 1. Starting at 2550, Isildur Wall quickly earned a reputation as a hyper aggro barrel monkey and some of his better regs were drooling at the prospect of taking some easy money from him. Just as their Euroside counterparts, however, they soon found themselves on the wrong end of the bankroll bashing. The likes of Daniel Cates, Hasib Qureshi, and Harry Kazaka all found themselves several hundred thousand dollars worse off after tangling with the unknown Isildur 1. 
Eventually, word reached the Nolmetolem King of the Hill, Tom Durduan, who wanted a piece of the action. Up to this point, nobody else multi-table nosebleed Nolmetolem like Dur, known for his unorthodox style, willingness to put in all on the line, and his precarious skills. Tom Durduan couldn't possibly envisage a newcomer coming into his backyard and getting the best of him. Starting off with six tables of heads up 300-600, no limit hold'em, Durr began to lose at quite a clip. Before long, he decided to up the ante and the pair upgraded to 500-1000 limit tables. The ensuing match have gone down in the annals of online poker history as probably the peak, the absolute zenith of high-stakes online action. Often playing for 12-15 to 15 hours at a time, the two fearless warriors played for millions of dollars over a two-week period in November of 2009. Half a million dollar pots flowed like running water. There were seven-figure swings in both directions, but when the dust settled, there was only one winner, Victor. Isildur 1 had taken some five million dollars from Durr and there was a new king in the town. At this point, Victor Blom had won about six million dollars at full tilt poker in a matter of weeks and was up about 11 million dollars for the year. With an alleged 11 million dollars in his bankroll, and an insatiable appetite for playing online at the highest limits and the arrival of Isildur 1 had heralded an unprecedented period of monster online high-stakes actions. Not one to take time out to bask in their success, if anything Isildur 1 ramped up his activity at full tilt and set about becoming the architect of the single biggest explosion of high-stakes action in online history from November to December 2009. In less than a month, the middle of November and the middle of December, Isildur 1 played part in every one of the 12 largest online pots in history, including 3 pots of over $1 million, and was involved in 17 of the largest 20, all of them played heads up. The whole online poker world stopped to watch as this unmasked newbie played. In one memorably insane session, Isildur 1 was playing 9 tables of 500-1000 limits simultaneously split between Patrick Antonius, Phil Ivey and Tom Dwan, some PLO and some no limit hold'em. Inevitably, this didn't prove to be a plus EV spot for the Swedish Phenom. On that night alone, Isildur 1 lost $2.1 million to Antonius and another $1.2 million to Phil Ivey, although he did beat Durr for another $800,000 to offset a little of his losses. Later, Isildur 1 challenged Phil Ivey, widely regarded as one of the best all-round players in the world, to play three tables of heads-up no limit hold'em at 500-1000 stakes. After a week of play, Isildur 1 had lost 3.2 million dollars and stated in a subsequent interview that Ivy was the toughest opponent he had ever played. Antonius then challenged Isildur 1 to a rematch to Omaha, a game in which Isildur 1 admitted he lacked experience. Isildur 1 lost 3 million dollars to Antonius after playing for only one day, which at that time was the largest single day gain and loss in the history of online poker. This record was broken a month later when Isildur 1 played Brian Hastings. His winnings hovered at the $2 million mark until 8 December 2009 when he played Brian Hastings for 5 hours. Hastings won $4.2 million from Isildur 1 making it the single largest gain and loss in a single day in the history of online poker to date. Shortly after his defeat, it was released that Brian had acquired private hand history information that illegitimately gave him an upper hand against Victor. The person who gave him this information, Brian Townsend, was given a one month suspension from his Red Pro status as punishment for breaching his contract. Ever since the report came out that Isildur 1 had been cheated, players were more eager than ever to find out who this player was. Some people thought it was Robert Flink, while others thought it may be the very talented Phil Hellmuth. Clearly, these people were wrong. Victor wasn't planning on revealing his identity until PokerStars called him up and offered him a spot on their team. PokerStars offered Blom a sponsorship in exchange for him to help them launch a four-table tournament, Game of No Limit Hold'em and Pot Limit Omaha named Superstar Showdown, which was open to anyone at the stakes of 5100 for 2500 hands. Blom's identity was released and the world now knew that Victor Blom was the face of Isildur 1. After Black Friday and the closure of Full Tilt Poker, the mega high stakes ceased to exist although Isildur 1 still managed to put together a million dollar winning days at PokerStars 200-400 PLO tables. During his time at PokerStars, he also extended his skill set to include 2-7 triple draw, limit Omaha high low and 8 game once again training himself by playing the best players in the world at the highest limits online. 
He also honed his PLO skills so that by the time he moved from PokerStars to Full Tilt as a sponsored pro, when it reopened in October 2012, he was widely considered one of the best PLO players online. The rebirth of Full Tilt Poker ignited another explosion of activity at the Nosebleeds and with Tom Durduan, Gus Hansen and Victor Blom as their leading pros, there was rarely a shortage of action. 2013 started with a bang for Isildur 1 and by the 12th of January, he had already won $5.1 million and was the biggest winner during the period at the PLO, NLHE, 27 Triple Draw and Limit Omaha Halo tables. Things didn't stay rosy for long however, as Isildur 1 settled into a familiar pattern of boom and bust. By the end of the month, Blom's profit sat at just $1.1 million and by the end of February, it was just $300,000. The year continued along a similar crazy path. By July, Isildur 1 was back up over $5 million for the year. By the end of September, he was back to even. By the end of October, he was once again up over $5 million. And when the year ended, his profit for 2013 stood at $540,000. The years since have told a similar story. Isildur won lost $1.7 million in 2014, but in 2015 he was the biggest winner in online poker, showing a $3.5 million profit at PokerStars after Full Tilt finally bit the dust. In 2016 he lost close to half a million dollars and the years following these were full of ups and downs. As well as his cash game prowess, Isildur 1 had proven to be a phenomenal online tournament player as well. He has won three scoop titles, including a main event win for a million dollars and a W Coupe title as well as numerous Sunday majors and has won millions in online tournaments. Although his performances at the WSOP and the EPT were decent, his greatest live tournament accomplishment occurred at the PokerStars 2012 PCA that took place in Paradise Island. During this competition, he was able to play face-to-face -face against other well-known professionals such as Jonathan Duhamel and Daniel Negrano. Despite the odds being against him, Victor managed to walk away from the competition with the first place prize of over $1.25 million. Despite performing well in few live tournaments he has entered, Blom tends to shy away from the live circuit in favor of online grinding. Victor Blom is a very private person, so not much information has been leaked about his personal life. His opponents say that contrary to his aggressive playstyle, he has a vibrant personality and a true love for the game. They also say that Blom has a great sense of humor, making playing against him a very exciting experience. According to Blom, his username Isildur1 is based on a fictional character from Lord of the Rings. For a very long time, Victor remained anonymous in the poker community, not because he couldn't reveal his true identity, but because he chose to remain low and enjoy the normal life with his friends without the paparazzi that comes with fame. For his parents, gambling is not something they want for their son. His mother reportedly said that it was quite shocking to imagine millions of dollars exchanging hands on a daily basis in poker. She reportedly made the comment after Victor lost his entire bankroll in 2008. Blom admitted that his stay in London as a 21 year old with so much money might have led him partying too much to the point of playing high stakes. Many have concluded that this might be the reason he has chosen to live in a little town in Sweden far away from so many distractions. Although he is far from clubbing and partying associated with the fast life of London, he is still very much involved in Sweden summer parties which he participated regularly. Victor is a big fan of soccer and he is known to post series of pictures of him with his friends playing pool. No doubt Victor has won series of online and live tournaments since stepping into the poker scene. He has also made huge profit from full tilt sponsorships deals which earned him at least a six figure salary every year. However, Victor's net worth remains largely unknown. The reason for this is because of his various large losses as well as winnings. However, according to an online report, his net worth is placed at about 5 million US dollars.